Hello, good morning, gals and guys. Oh, shoulder, Friday, shoulder, dance. I need to get the puppies to learn how to do this. Okay, so I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much for all of your prayers for my mom. Um, she's got a long way to go, um, but I'm hopeful and I'm continuing to be also in prayer. Um, for her and I just thank you all so much for all of your prayers um, it means so much so uh, I want to jump into Ephesians 6 11 put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil and so you know you're probably like Erica why do you have a hat on it's going to be 85 degrees today. And so this is just like a little prop, right? You know, when it's cold outside, we put on this hat and we put on a coat. I wasn't going to do the coat because I might get a hot flash because we all know I'm in menopause. And that's not a good look, you know, sweat. But anyways, so the armor of God is like, you know, here's this hat, right? And it does. This is a great hat, by the way. I put it on when I was in Ohio and it in the cold and it really did the trick but it pales 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 in comparison to what scripture is talking about when we put on the armor of God when we put on the armor of God it's amazing right so in my quiet time when I am and when you're in your quiet time and in your prayer time and when you go to God daily for a time of replenishment, renewal, reconnection, reigniting yourself, refilling with the love of God. This is part of putting on the armors because what, what is happening is, as I'm in that time and in that space with the spirit of love and truth, I'm being filled with all of those things daily, right? I'm being filled with all of those things daily. And what's happening? I'm filling up and it's pretty much radiating from me, right? So. This armor is around my entire self from the inside all the way to the outside. And how does that look? What is that? What do you mean, Erica? Right? So what I mean is when things happen and storms come and people that are dark and have malicious intent come and they will to us all, whether we're um, affected directly or indirectly from them we have this impenetrable armor of god and i'm using the word impenetrable on purpose because the reason why i'm using that is because as we continue to do that daily or even more than daily like two three times a day we just kind of go to god speak with god not just in the car while we're praying that's amazing that's awesome it's huge it's beneficial anytime we talk and come together with God wherever we are. But I'm talking about like super intentional, you know, going, closing your eyes, getting to a place of surrender of your body so that your spirit and your soul self can connect with the spirit of love and truth. This is the impenetrable, you know, this is that whole thing to where when you have people and family around you that are sick, you still are lifted with the spirit of love and truth. You still are able to walk in a space and a place that is just high on love. Because why? Because we are protected. We have an armor that surrounds us of love and truth. And it is real. It is absolutely real. Not only is it real, but as you continue to do it and it goes and it filters into your mind and continues to build your belief system. We talked about the other day about placebos, right? And the belief system and the power of the belief system of our mind. We talked about the placebo, how in many, many thousands of trials, please research this. Um, there are people that are, get a group of people that are given a placebo, which is not medicine at all. It's a fake drug and a fake pill with nothing in it medicinal right? There's nothing. It's like, whatever. I don't know if it's called a water pill. It might not be. Don't hold me to that. But then there's another group of people in this trial that have the actual medicine. And it shows time and time and time and time and time and time again, okay, that the people with the medicine, they 70% of them had gotten better. 
the people that were given the placebo, the non-medicine, the fake pill, they were given that and almost had the same results. Why? Because the power of the belief system. They were thinking, they, since they were thinking, I'm taking a pill, I'm going to get better. Their belief system, because they believed in that and they were told that, they believed it and they got better. So the power of the belief system is real. The power of our belief in our mind is real. Amen. And this comes from the spirit, the soul side of us, of which we uh, first existed, from which we came, which is God, the spirit of love and truth. So I just wanted to share with you this morning to stay encouraged in spite of what is going on around you. Um, guys, I have you know, I get emails and our uh, message, messages a lot from a lot of different people that are sharing the different things that are going on in their life. And yes, you know, siblings are passing away. Parents are passing on. They're passing on to be, to go back to that which they have come from, which is the spirit of love and truth, right? They have passed on. These times are difficult when these happen. Things are happening when people are going to, loved ones are going to jail. All these different, very, very, you know, people are getting found, getting found out that there is molestation in the family. All these different things are happening. But the armor of God, the armor of God will protect your soul and your heart so that you know that when you cannot stand, when you cannot smile, when you cannot move, you are protected and you are continued to be lifted up. Not only that, but when you continue to practice that quiet time and that time with the spirit of love and truth, it draws other people around you that are doing the same. And that support system of that human form of love of God is around you, holding you, lifting you, feeding you, caring for you, hugging you, caressing you, embracing you sharing the truth and the love of God in an empathetic, compassionate way that is a God love. And that is part of the armor of God because the armor, it starts within, it radiates without, but this is happening to everybody that does it. So what does that mean? Since I have the armor and I see someone else that needs my love and attention and affection because they're going through a difficult time, the armor of God and the love in me that protects me is going to spill over into them. And this is what we do for each other. This is power. This is a supernatural power that just kind of radiates through us all to one another that builds us up through these difficult times, guys. And this is part of who we are. We are all connected. We are all connected in this way, in this power of love that is in our soul through the spirit of love and truth that from which we came and which we're going back to when we're done here with these bodies. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your prayers for my mom and um, for the comfort of God over me. It has been super beneficial to me and her. And so we both thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And you can do another shoulder dance. Oh, I was that was like a shake, a weird shake. This is a shoulder dance. It's a specific shoulder movement. Okay. And I'll praise out. God, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your armor of love and truth. God, as we continue to spend time with you, this armor begins to get thicker, stronger, impenetrable. And then usable not only for us, for, but for our brothers and sisters. And I'm not talking about our brothers and sisters in our family. I'm not talking about our brothers and sisters in Christ. Jesus was on the cross and he prayed for those that did that were killing him, which means they were not brothers and sisters in Christ. So when I say this, God, I don't mean only our brothers and sisters in our family or in Christ. All that are on the planet is who we can have this armor work for. The armor that protects us also allows us to be supernaturally empathetic towards others. And God, I just thank you for that. Thank you for our powerful belief system, God, that is centered 
in you because all things are possible with you and there's nothing impossible with you. We don't understand how that invisible type belief system works, but we know that it does. It's been proven, God. It's been proven, God. And we just thank you for that. I thank you for that, God. I thank you for your love. And I thank you for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I put my trust in you and I put my love in you, God, because you are the spirit of truth and love. And you are love. You are love. You are the all-wisest and you're the all-knowing. And I just thank you for that. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, have a great day. Great day, great day, great Friday, great weekend. Tell me what you're doing. Are you going to do some cable surfing? Maybe you shouldn't do that because I got whiplashed. But, you know, I'm just saying. All right, bye.